everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about quick sort in the subject of design and analysis of algorithm so this video is going to be little long and be patient because it has a it has two algorithms which you have to learn okay so let's get into the video without any further delay and try to solve on the paper along with me so that you will remember it first quick sort is basically an algorithm to sort the array to arrange the array from small to big or big to small okay next and it is an application of divide and conquer divide and conquer means what you are dividing the array and then you are solving the array it could be a searching or it could be sorting or it could be multiplication of matrices or whatever it is you are dividing the given problem then you are solving conquer is nothing but you are solving it okay so this is about divide and conquer first what we have to do we have to apply the partition algorithm on the given array okay directly you have to not apply the quick sort algorithm first you have to apply the partition algorithm after applying the partition algorithm you will get the position for the pivot element okay so pivot element is the main important element where you will place your pivot element so depending on that all the elements which are less than the pivot element will come on to the left side and all the elements which are greater than the pivot will come on the right side so it is very important that you find out the position of your pivot element first okay and to do that we have to use the partition algorithm okay how partition algorithm will work i'll tell you first this is i and this is j okay you are initializing i to 0 and j to n minus 1 okay eighth position is given to j now and so and p what is what a of i so what is in a of i so 7 is in a of i you are taking 7 as the pivot element also so now i is equal to a of i is equal to 7 a of j is also equal to 7 and pivot element is also equal to 7 okay first element is the i and the last element is j and the first element also acts as the pivot element simple okay till now you are clear next what you have to do is keep checking the pivot element first is you have to check if a of i is less than or equal to pivot a of i is less than or equal to pivot then what you have to do a plus plus if a of j is greater than pivot then you have to do j minus minus this is the important thing that you have to remember so what is a of i 7 7 is less than or equal to what is pivot 7 true 7 is less than or equal to 7 so you are updating i so i will come here okay now again check a of i is less than or equal to pivot here a of i means what 6 6 is less than or equal to pivot 6 is less than or equal to 7 true so what you will do i plus plus that is you are incrementing i again okay now see a of i is less than or equal to pivot check 10 is less than or equal to pivot no 10 is not less than or equal to pivot 10 is greater than pivot so now what you have to do you have to stop i over here okay now check if a of j is greater than pivot a of j 7 is greater than pivot no pivot is 7 7 is equal to 7 so you need not do j minus minus you can stop i over here so what is your updated array now i is here and j is here okay now what you have to do is you have to swap i and j okay so a of i and a of j so you have to swap these both elements so now what your array will become 7 6 you are swapping 10 and this 7 right so 7 5 9 2 1 15 and 10 okay so this is your updated array after swapping okay now where is i i is here where is j j is here okay now check the same condition again and pivot is same 7 only now check a of i is less than or equal to pivot 7 a of i is 7 7 is less than or equal to pivot yes true so you can do i plus plus so i will come here next 
phi is less than or equal to p what yes true so i will come here now check 9 is less than or equal to p what no 9 is greater than p what so you can stop updating i at this point you cannot update it further now check for j a of j is greater than p what what is a of j 10 10 is greater than p what is 10 greater than 7 yes true so what you have to do j minus 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 means this way come back so j is here now okay very simple guys now again check is 15 greater than p what a of a now a of j is 15 right so a of j is greater than p what is 15 greater than 7 yes true so you can again do j minus minus so this will come here now check now j is i sorry 1 now check 1 is greater than p what 1 is greater than 7 no right so you have to stop j over here okay now what you have to do you have to swap i and j okay so what you will get if you swap i and j you will get 7 6 7 5 you have to swap i and j right so you will get 1 here 2 9 15 10 okay okay now i is here and j is here they are in the same position but the elements in those positions are swapped we swap swapped it done guys don't worry i'll show you the algorithm in the end if i show you the algorithm in the end then you can remember it more easily okay when i show you the algorithm you will uh, be able to remember all the steps don't worry in the next step what you have to do again you have to check for the same condition only now this is p what again p what is same okay now i a of i is less than or equal to p what 1 is less than or equal to p what true so you can bring i over here okay next 2 2 is less than or equal to p what true so you can bring i to here so your i is here now okay in place of j your i is there okay next 9 is less than or equal to p what 9 is less than or equal to 7 no so you cannot increment i you will stop i at this point okay next c j a of j is greater than p what 9 is greater than p what Yes, nine is greater than p what. So you can do j minus minus. So that means your j will come here. Okay, j minus minus. If you do, your j will come here. Okay. Now what happens? See, what is your i position? I is here six. And what is your j position? J is here. That means at fifth position. So i is equal to six and j is equal to five. this condition is valid as long as i is less than j okay as long as i is less than or equal to j this condition is valid once i is greater than j that is in this condition this is not valid so when i is greater than j what you have to do you have to swap a of j and p what element okay so now you cannot swap i and j you have to swap a of j and the pivot element so i will write this array again without for for avoiding your confusion your i is near 9 right so i is near 9 and your j is near 2 so j is near 2 let's give the indexes as well 7 8 so now since i is greater than j you have to swap a of j and the pivot element so your pivot element is the same element okay so now what you have to do swap pivot and a of j so what you will get on swapping these both so you will get 2 over here and then 6 7 5 1 2 3 and then in place of 2 you will get 7 since you are swapping a of j and p what okay next 9 15 10 as it is others will be as it is okay now you are done with the partition algorithm okay so now your p what so your p what will be the location for the partition algorithm okay so i will show you the quick sort 
like till now what we have done is just partitioning we have not divided the array at in divide and conquer what we will do we will divide the array right in the previous binary search video what we did we divided the array in the first two steps itself we got the sub array but here till now we did not get the sub array or we did not get the sorted array now what we have to do i'll tell you see this is the quick sort algorithm quick sort a i j a is the array i is the first position and j is the last position so as long as i is less than j you have to do this location is equal to partition of a comma i comma j so partition of a comma i comma j is nothing but the partition algorithm that means till now what we have done that is this step okay in this step you will get the value of the location so what is the value of location here the look the seven so what is the position of seven zero one two three four five so five is the position of seven okay so the output of this algorithm is five okay so five is the location you got now you have to do quick sort of a comma that is in on array a from the starting position that is zero comma location minus one four okay and quick sort of a comma location plus one which is six comma till the last position last position in our case is eight right so this you have to do that means now you have to divide your array okay how you will divide your array i'll tell you let me do it how in you're going book. to divide your array a zero four a six eight right that means zero to four in one array and six to eight in one array okay so 0 to 4 that means 2 6 7 5 1 in one array 7 is the pivot element and 9 15 10 into the other array the position of 7 is fixed okay now see whatever elements are to the left of 7 they are either less than or equal to 7 and whatever elements are on the right side of the 7 they are either greater than or equal to 7 right so you are partition algorithm is done now this is one separate array and this is one separate array okay now i will show you the partition algorithm so like how the how we have done the partition algorithm like we did what till now whatever process we did this one and this one are the partition algorithm but let us see in the point of algorithm point of view so partition of a comma i comma j i is the first position and j is the last position so pivot will be a of i only and then i is equal to 0 j is equal to n minus 1 that is what i told here now we are entering into the while loop so what is the condition in while loop when i is less than j so as long as i is less than j this while loop is valid okay once i is greater than j you are coming out of this while loop okay this is the end of the while loop okay so you are starting your while loop here so here sorry while a of i is less than or equal to pivot as long as your a of i element is less than or equal to your pivot element this one you are doing i plus plus okay next when a of j is greater than pivot you are doing j minus minus for i you are doing increment operation for j you are doing the decrement operation okay so that is what we have done here till now next what you have to do if i is less than j after doing the increment and decrement if i is less than j that is the same condition which we have in the while loop you have to swap a of i and a of j okay next if so here you are ending your while loop here you are ending your if loop here you are ending your while loop so this main while loop you are ending here now if i is greater than j that is if i is less than j condition is not satisfying that means if i is greater than j then you have to swap the pivot element and a of j that is what we have done here right so you are swapping the pivot element and a of j and you are returning j j is nothing but what this is the location of the partition position you are using that location in the quick sort main algorithm to partition the array okay 
so you understood how we divide the array right now what is the time complexity here in worst case it is o of n square and in best case it is o of n log n okay for quick sort okay done so what we did here the last step is we have partitioned the algorithm successfully now this is our new array here same story again take this as pivot take this as i take this as j now do apply the same quick sort same partition algorithm on this array and find out the pivot position okay now here also this is i this is j and this is also pivot okay now apply the same partition algorithm here also you have to apply the same partition algorithm here and here also then you will get the pivot so based on pivot again you will divide this array again you will keep on dividing and in the last you will merge the you will uh, you know combine the complete all the arrays that is then that mean you will be getting the sorted list so that is the solution you have to apply the same process whatever we did over here on this arrays also on the sub arrays also then you will get the sorted array so what is your sorted array you will get it as 1 2 5 6 7 7 9 10 15 this sorted array you will get repetitively you have to apply the partition algorithm until you get this sorted array got it this is about this video guys i hope you guys understood what i explained so this is the partition algorithm okay so this is the partition algorithm time complexity and quick sort algorithm also i showed you right yeah so this is the quick sort algorithm so here for in order to get this location we are applying the partition algorithm location is very important because you need it here and you need it in this step also okay so this is all about this video i hope i explained it clearly you understood it clearly and thanks for your patience towards the video let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic till then stay tuned to my channel thank you so much